Reveril Yosalf is the daughter of Larful Yosalf and a vice captain of the Loki Familia. Reveria is tall with jade colored hair tied in a ponytail that reaches to her waist, same color eyes, and elf ears. She wears a green outfit with yellow borders, a white cloak over it, a black belt, a yellow sash, black leggings, and long brown boots. She is described to be exceptionally beautiful and stated to be more beautiful than several goddesses. Reveria has a serious personality. She is one of the few people that didn't laugh at Bell and condemn the others for laughing at him. Characteristic of her race, she is a strict mentor who constantly pressures her students to force them to improve, making them spend whole nights without sleep and not tolerating distractions during their study sessions. Training Lafia in her studies as a mage and eyes when she was a child. She is calm and collected during the heat of battle, dealing with unexpected events in a leader like fashion, as shown in the event of the Loki Familia being attacked by large numbers of Virga on the 50th floor. Despite this, Reveria is kind and understanding to others, especially her fellow Loki Familia members. She cares about them and constantly supports them to help them get stronger while ensuring they don't overexert themselves. After the assault on Nossos, she showed great attachment to the rest of the Familia members, feeling guilty for the death of the lower-ranking members. Due to her gracious treatment of the young members of the Familia, eyes in particular, she earned the nickname Mama from Loki. Likewise, she is a faithful and trustworthy friend who is willing to do whatever it takes to protect those who matter to her, accepting Loki's fauna in the first place just so she could protect her dear friend Dana despite her dislike towards the goddess. Although she usually maintains a calm demeanor Reveria is extremely stern once she gets angry. She hates to be called an old woman as she punished the seven-year-old eyes, who called her so, by tying a demantine to her and throwing her in water calling it swimming training. This later became a traumatic experience for Eyes. While her seriousness is a persistent trait of hers it can be broken at times, such as when she burst out laughing when she heard that Belle ran away from Eyes. However, this is an infrequent occurrence, shocking Lafia and the Hurt sisters as it was the first time they had seen her laugh in all the years they had known her. As an elf, she initially had a certain superiority complex over people of other races, sharing the belief that the Palums were inferior and feeling a natural enmity towards Gareth for being a dwarf and his brusque manner. While this belief persisted for a time, she ultimately lost it, forging a deep bond of friendship with Finn and Gareth. Because she was raised isolated in her native forest, Riveria developed a sense of adventure and a great desire to explore the outside world. Her longing reached the point of daring to flee the forest even knowing what it might have entailed. Her desire persists even years after she has achieved her goal and experienced countless adventures in the dungeon, still expressing a desire to step into the unknown and make more discoveries. Being a high elf, and therefore part of elven royalty, Reveria is extremely revered by other elves, who hold her in high regard. Despite this, she has never acted conceited or taken advantage of it even expressing annoyance at the preferential treatment she usually receives and the devotion they express. Instead, she treats them in a normal way and insists to the elves that are close to hers treat her casually. Reveria was born in Elf's Royal Forest as a member of the High Elf family. She lived there for 71 years until she grew tired of her father's negative attitude toward her interest in the outside world and decided to leave. She left the forest with her childhood friend and former personal chamberlain Aina with the help of Finn and Loki. After recruiting Gareth, she and the rest of the early Loki familia were taken care of by Njord before they entered Orario. Once she arrived in the city, she grew remarkably as an adventurer, leveling up several times at an accelerated rate. She reached level 6 seven years ago after defeating the Delphine along with Gareth, Eyes, and the Astria familia during the Great Feud.